For developers, get our LORA weights free at stuff.serp.i. Large language models, LLMs, are taking the world by storm, bringing forth unparalleled advancements in natural language processing, NLP tasks. However, as these models grow in size and complexity, so do the demands on computational resources and energy consumption. Enter LORA. Low-rank adaptation of large language models, a groundbreaking method that enables faster, more efficient adaptation of LLMs without sacrificing performance. In this in-depth article, we'll explore the inner workings of LORA, its benefits and applications, and how it's reshaping the landscape of NLP. Intro to Low-Rank Adaptation Models, LORA. LORA, short for Low-Rank Adaptation, is a novel approach to fine-tuning large language models. In essence, LORA leverages low-rank approximation techniques to make the adaptation process more efficient and cost-effective. Before diving into the details, let's first lay the groundwork by understanding the key concepts. Large language models. Fine-tuning. Low-rank approximation. Large language models. Large language models, LLMs, are powerful machine learning models specifically designed for natural language processing tasks. These models are trained on vast amounts of textual data, which allows them to effectively generate, understand, and manipulate human-like text. LLMs, such as OPNI's GPD-3 or Google's BERT, have become the backbone of modern NLP applications, including chatbots, machine translation, sentiment analysis, and more. The primary reason behind the exceptional performance of LLMs is their massive size and architecture. By increasing the number of parameters and layers within the model, LLMs can capture more complex patterns and relationships within language. However, the sheer size of these models also comes with its downsides, such as high computational resource requirements, longer training and fine-tuning times, and considerable energy consumption. This is where LORA, low-rank adaptation of large language models, comes into play, offering a more efficient and sustainable approach to adapting LLMs for specific tasks while maintaining their impressive capabilities. Fine-tuning. Fine-tuning is a crucial step in the deployment of large language models. Although pre-trained LLMs possess a solid foundation of linguistic understanding, they often require customization to perform well on specific tasks or domains. Fine-tuning is the process of adjusting the weights of a pre-trained model by continuing its training on a smaller, task-specific dataset. This allows the model to better adapt to the nuances of the target task improving its accuracy and relevance. Typically, fine-tuning involves updating the parameters of the entire model, which can be computationally expensive and time-consuming, especially for LLMs with billions of parameters. This is where LORA's low-rank adaptation technique offers a more efficient alternative to traditional fine-tuning methods. How does LORA work? To appreciate the magic behind LORA, we must delve into its inner workings. Here's a step-by-step -step breakdown of the LORA process. Low-rank adaptation. Decomposition of the pre-trained model. Model reconstruction. Fine-tuning. Low-rank approximation. Low-rank approximation is a mathematical technique used to simplify complex matrices without losing a significant amount of information. By reducing the rank of a matrix, we can decrease its size making it easier to manipulate and store. In the context of machine learning, low-rank approximation can be employed to compress large models, making them more efficient without sacrificing their predictive power. LORA leverages low-rank approximation techniques to adapt large language models more efficiently. Instead of fine-tuning the entire model, LORA focuses on a smaller, low-rank representation of the model, which requires fewer computational resources and less time to adapt. Once the low-rank model is fine-tuned, it is then reconstructed into the full model, maintaining the performance of the original LLM while minimizing the costs associated with adaptation. Decomposition of the pre-trained model. The first step in the LORA process involves decomposing the pre-trained large language model. This is done by applying low-rank matrix factorization techniques, such as singular value decomposition, SVD, or truncated SVD, to the weight matrices of the model. 
This decomposition results in a set of smaller matrices, which together form a low-rank approximation of the original model. The goal is to capture the most relevant information from the full model while significantly reducing its size and complexity. Low-rank adaptation. Once the pre-trained model is decomposed, the next step is to adapt the low-rank representation to the target task or domain. This involves fine-tuning the smaller matrices obtained from the decomposition process on a task-specific dataset. As the low-rank representation is much smaller than the original model, this adaptation process is considerably faster and requires fewer computational resources than traditional fine-tuning methods. Model reconstruction. After the low-rank adaptation is completed, the next step is to reconstruct the full model by combining the adapted low-rank matrices. This is achieved by reversing the decomposition process, essentially reassembling the weight matrices of the model from the adapted low-rank components. The result is a full-sized language model that has been efficiently adapted to the target task while maintaining the performance of the original pre-trained model. Fine-tuning. The final step in the LORA process involves an optional fine-tuning phase. While the reconstructed model is expected to perform well on the target task, additional fine-tuning can be applied to further improve its performance. This involves updating the parameters of the reconstructed model on the task-specific dataset, similar to traditional fine-tuning methods. However, as the model has already undergone low-rank adaptation, this final fine-tuning step is often faster and more efficient leading to better performance with reduced computational costs. LORA Advantages LORA offers a wide array of benefits that make it a game-changer in the world of large language models. Some of the most noteworthy advantages include reduced computational resources, faster adaptation, lower energy consumption, enhanced accessibility, reduced computational resources, one of the most significant advantages of LORA is its ability to reduce the computational resources required for adapting large language models. By working with a low-rank representation of the model, the number of parameters that need to be updated during the adaptation process is substantially decreased. This results in a more efficient process, requiring less memory and computational power, which in turn lowers the hardware requirements and associated costs. Faster Adaptation LORA enables faster adaptation of large language models by focusing on the low-rank representation instead of the entire model. As the low-rank representation is much smaller than the original model, the time required to adapt the model to a specific task or domain is significantly reduced. This allows developers and researchers to iterate more quickly, test multiple adaptation scenarios, and deploy models in a more time-efficient manner. Lower Energy Consumption the reduced computational demands of LORA also lead to lower energy consumption. Traditional fine-tuning methods for large language models can consume vast amounts of energy due to the sheer number of parameters involved. By leveraging low-rank adaptation, LORA minimizes the energy requirements, making the adaptation process more sustainable and environmentally friendly. Enhanced accessibility. LORA's efficiency in adapting large language models ultimately contributes to enhanced accessibility of these powerful tools. By lowering the computational, time, and energy costs associated with model adaptation, LORA makes it feasible for smaller organizations and individual researchers to harness the power of large language models for their specific needs. This democratizes access to state-of-the-art NLP technology fostering innovation and enabling a broader range of applications across various domains. Applications and Use Cases for LORA The versatility of LORA opens up a myriad of possibilities for practical applications. Some of the most promising use cases are Conversational AI Machine Translation Sentiment Analysis Document Summarization Conversational AI LORA can be effectively used to adapt large language models for conversational AI applications, such as chatbots and virtual assistants. By leveraging LORA, developers can create more efficient and responsive conversational agents, capable of understanding and generating human-like responses in specific domains or industries without the need for excessive computational resources. Machine Translation 
Machine translation benefits greatly from the use of large language models. LORA allows for the efficient adaptation of these models to specific language pairs or specialized domains, improving translation quality and performance. As a result, more accurate and context-aware translations can be achieved without the need for extensive computational power. Sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis is a critical NLP task that involves determining the sentiment or emotion expressed in a given piece of text. LRA can be used to adapt large language models to perform sentiment analysis more efficiently and accurately across various domains, such as product reviews, social media comments, or news articles, providing valuable insights for businesses and researchers. Document summarization. Document summarization involves generating concise summaries of longer documents or articles, making it easier for users to grasp the main ideas quickly. By applying LORA to large language models, developers can create more efficient summarization systems that generate coherent and informative summaries, even in specialized fields or for niche topics. LORA facts. In this section, we'll address some of the most frequently asked questions related to LORA and its implementation. How does LORA differ from traditional fine-tuning? Can LORA be applied to any large language model? What are the limitations of LORA? How does LORA contribute to the democratization of AI? How does LORA differ from traditional fine-tuning? LORA differs from traditional fine-tuning in that it focuses on adapting a low-rank representation of the pre-trained model instead of the entire model. This approach significantly reduces the computational resources, time, and energy required for model adaptation, making it more efficient and accessible compared to traditional fine-tuning methods. Can LORA be applied to any large language model? In theory, LORA can be applied to any large language model, as it is a general technique for model adaptation. However, the effectiveness and efficiency of LORA might vary depending on the specific model architecture and the target task or domain. As a result, it is essential to evaluate the performance of LORA on a case-by-case -case basis. What are the limitations of LORA? Although LORA offers many advantages, it also has some limitations. One potential limitation is the loss of information during the low-rank approximation process which might impact the performance of the adapted model. Moreover, the choice of decomposition techniques and the rank selection can influence the effectiveness of LORA, requiring careful tuning and experimentation. How does LORA contribute to the democratization of AI? LORA contributes to the democratization of AI by making the adaptation of large language models more accessible, efficient, and cost-effective, by reducing the computational, time, and energy requirements for model adaptation, LORA enables smaller organizations and individual researchers to harness the power of state-of-the-art and LP technology, promoting innovation and broadening the range of applications across various domains. The future of LORA. Paving the way for efficient language model adaptation. As the demand for advanced natural language processing capabilities continues to grow, the need for efficient and accessible adaptation methods for large language models becomes increasingly critical. LORA, with its innovative low-rank adaptation approach, has the potential to revolutionize the way we work with these models, making them more practical and sustainable for a wider range of applications and users. The future of LORA looks promising as researchers and developers continue to explore new ways to optimize and expand its capabilities. Potential advancements in low-rank approximation techniques, decomposition methods, and domain-specific adaptation strategies will further enhance the performance and efficiency of LORA-based language model adaptation. Furthermore, as the AI community becomes more conscious of the environmental impact of large-scale models, LORA's lower energy consumption will likely contribute to a more sustainable and eco-friendly approach to AI development. In conclusion, LORA has the potential to play a significant role in shaping the future of large language models and natural language processing. By making these powerful tools more accessible and efficient, LORA will not only democratize access to state-of-the-art and LP technology, but also fuel innovation and inspire new applications across a diverse range of industries and domains.